Hello everybody, it's Vortech here and welcome to the third episode in our new RimWorld colony. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Uh, now in the last episode we started getting them some power and then we were hit with a solar eclipse and I was forced to quickly build some wind power in order to get anything to them. Uh, we've started to build our nutrient paste dispenser and things are going okay for the colony. Uh, I've actually been playing a little bit off camera and things were going really well. Like I found a colony that started nestling themselves into a mountain and things were looking up. And then out of nowhere I overloaded the circuits and kaboom. Giant fire, I had built everything out of wood, I had a whole lot of power traveling through one circuit, going all over the place, and it was a mess, and I lost the colony. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I wasn't playing with this colony off camera, because the same fate would have probably befallen them. Uh, so, that being said, my question for you guys is, for those of you who know RimWorld very well, especially someone like Weem out there, who actually had a similar problem in one of his videos not that long ago, uh, what do I do about that? Like, how do I prevent a giant explosion? I'm still gonna have to build things out of wood for a while because that's just my main resource. Uh, I'm not really digging into any mountains or anything right now, so I'm not getting a whole lot of metal or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping to get maybe multiple power circuits. Maybe that's the answer. Uh, maybe just be a lot more cautious about how much crap I plug into one circuit. That's the only thing I can really think of, though, that could be the answer. So. Uh, that's my question for you guys today that know RimWorld very well. Uh, now I was looking around the map, and I think right here would have been a good area to nestle myself into and kind of hide out from the elements, because I could have set up defenses right along here, or what I could have done is just built a wall right here, and then the only area they'd have to defend is right here, like this, this little valley right here. So maybe in the future we'll kind of like set up our main base over there. Uh, I did notice this though some uh, some resources here so I, what I might do is stick a stockpile right here just for uh, raw materials and then what that'll get us is like some more encouragement to start building more crap up here uh, but we'll have to see for now I'm okay with this uh, we have a pretty decent area everyone seems to be happy with it uh, sitting right on some stupid swamp though is not helpful either all right so now that that's all out of the way uh, our little widget here is telling us we need defenses uh, some construction materials are missing, so hopefully they'll be harvesting things soon to get that. Uh, we need a meal source, which is the nutrient paste dispenser. No trading capacity and one idle colonist, which is Weem. Uh, now, in order to fix all these things, we're gonna need resources. We're going to need metals of th sorts of things like that. Um, this little area up here might not be too bad, but it's kind of small. I'm going to see... Aha! Perfect. This looks, looks like a nice area right by base to have them start mining. Uh, so I'm gonna have them take care of this. Hopefully we have more than one decent miner to do that. I'm kind of confused because I was playing last night and had a whole different bunch of people. And so, yeah, I was kind of like, okay, I have one really good miner, right? Oh no, everyone here is different. They're not the same people. <laughs> so Vortex eating, Squitch looks like uh, she's about to go to bed, and Weem is still kind of... Oh no, he's not idle. Okay, he's gonna cut down the trees. I had, a, I had someone clear out this farm right here because it's everything here is in my way uh, but they're taking the last of their meals and that's that's also concerning their their farm is not uh, even cleared out yet Vortex going to sleep alright so all we can really do is fast forward and let them kinda do their thing now we have a lot of tasks for them to to achieve and not a whole lot of time or patience looks like alright so he's harvesting and eating or he might eat raw food who knows all right, so I'll let them do their thing, and what we need to do is prioritize this mining. So let's find our best miner. Uh, is that Squitch? I think it's Squitch. Character. Nope, not you. Weem is three mining, and Vortec is ten mining. Okay, so we're going to have Vortec come over here and prioritize the mining compacted steel. Nice. That's what it is. I didn't know if it was steel or not, so perfect. We'll have some steel. Uh, for this, we need steel so that works all right man you go mine that there he goes awesome okay he's going to finish the nutrient paste dispenser and it's done sweet okay let's slow down need food hopper okay uh we're going to go into orders here and have them haul away the uh slag sitting there i think that's slag whatever the hell that is get it out of here 
And we'll have to go into produce and get some hoppers. Let's go like that. And I don't need to go too crazy with the hoppers just yet. I'm going to save supplies. Uh, the hoppers fuel the nutrient paste dispenser, though. And then the other thing that's good to do is get them some uh, somewhere to sit. Let's go into furniture. I'm going to make a wooden table. Uh, let's do a yeah, wooden table. And some stools. Some wooden stools to sit on. They complain if they don't have anywhere to sit and uh, eat. So this should fix that problem. They'll have a, a table to sit on. They'll have nutrient paste to, to fill their <laughs> their needs or whatever. And uh, there they go. So we have tons and tons of wood now, especially after clearing out that farm. And that's really good. Uh, need dump. Your colonist marked slag chunk to be hauled, but the colonists have nowhere to take it. I thought I made a dump. Where are we at here? Yeah, this is the dump. Oh, I didn't make a... Uh, Okay, let's pause real quick. I didn't make it a dump zone, a dumping stockpile. Let's let's see. So I'm going to delete this zone and call it a dumping, the dumping zone right there. And what we need to do is go into storage. So chunks can be thrown in there, corpses can be thrown in there, and rotten. That is exactly what we want. Cool. I just like set up a, a, a zone like that. Uh, no trading capacity, need defense, oh, that's fixed. Okay, need food hopper, they're getting that here in a sec. Um, cool, all right. Vortex still doing that. I told him to prioritize mining, but he doesn't seem to give a crap about me or my, my uh, wishes. So, that's fine. <laughs> what a fat asshole, Vortex. Get out of here, man. Go do what you're told. What are you doing? He's just... Prioritize mining. Get out there. Okay. <laughs> He's doing that. Uh, the farm is growing and no hoppers are being built. And we have two colonists that decided to just hang out. Uh, how do we fix this now? What, what's the next thing we need for this colony? Let's go and see. So they, they need defenses. Um, I think we'll need like two turrets in order to stay safe. Because we'll need, this area is nice and open and big, so we'll need one out here, and we'll need one down here as well. I think we're going to do a few things. Let's go into power and get power conduits going down into this door, uh, then into this door. Um, and that's, we can put a lamp in like all these rooms after that. Let's go and, oh, crap. We'll deconstruct this. Oh, nice. And I'm going to finish the conduits going like that. Okay, cool. So now we'll have power that goes all the way into this building as well. I can put lights in each one of these rooms now so they're not uh, sleeping in the dark, which they, they need light lights. They're, they're scared. They're pansies. We're going to have to go into security and get an improvised turret. That will feed off of that door. And this improvised turret will feed off of this door. Putting it close to the base of might, might not be the best idea. Let's put it close to that wind turbine. Like that. Okay. And then while we're at it, we'll make some lamps as well. We'll go into... Where is it? Furniture? Yes. Standing lamp. I'm going to put this lamp here. This lamp here. And then they're going to want light in this room as well. So I'm going to put a lamp there. And that way they're not in the dark. We'll make one more here. So this is going to take a lot of material uh, that they don't have. It's just steel. Not a lot of steel, but like we need Vortec to prioritize mining. I'm actually going to have Weem also mine. Okay, so we have our overview here. We need... Vortec is the only one who who is allowed to mine. I think having another miner is going to help, even though he's not the best. Actually, before we do that, let me just check one more thing. Character, Weem... And switch. Neither of them like care to really learn mining, so it doesn't really matter at this point. We're just going to select a new miner like that. And now that's one more thing they can do. I, I don't know if it's bad to have everyone doing everything. Probably probably not the best idea, but <laughs> all right. Let's do that. Uh now that we've done that, Squitch is going to go help with the mining, which is perfect. Vortex is a lot better at it, but cool. And he is making, I guess, one of the turrets. Awesome. 
So now we can just kind of let them do their thing. I'm going to have to find something for Ween to do, though, since uh, he's not really mining or anything like that. Uh, we do need metal. Maybe we can make him work on the trading beacon. But again, without metal, there's not a whole lot Ween can do, except haul. <laughs> All right, so everybody's still working away. Uh, night has befallen us, and what I decided to do was get them working on a new section of this room here because they're not too keen on sharing a bedroom, and I was kind of looking at some of their thoughts, and everyone has the same kind of thoughts. They don't like eating the raw food, but now with the hoppers, that should change, and uh, they also don't like sharing a bedroom. That's minus eight to their mood. Uh, the new colony optimism is keeping them up pretty good, which is awesome, but that does eventually go away because eventually, yeah, expires in one day. They have one more day of that, and then they're going to be in pretty crappy moods. So I wanted to remedy some of the bigger problems as fast as possible, and it seems like we're doing just that. Uh, now, the raw food situation is... It could be better. Our, our potato... We have some potatoes, and they'll be put into here and made, you know, made into nutrient paste. That'll take care of the raw food, and then they'll just complain less about eating nutrient paste. So that's one concern down. And with this new room, that'll fix the other concern. So I'm hoping in this next day here, they can achieve all those things, because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Eventually, too, I want to turn this area into a prison, uh, just because it's mostly built. And all I need to do is, like, slap a wall and a door on it. In fact, I can even just do that right now while I'm talking about it. Why not? Uh, but other than that, I think, uh, I think we're pretty much set. I don't think the colony is in too much danger. So, that's good. Uh, but yeah, so everyone's waking up, and let's see. Let's hope they, uh, they're able to do all these things I've asked them to do. Now, in that other colony that I showed you guys earlier, uh, I had berry bushes, and I was in a tropical rainforest. And so, that's why I believe there are no berry bushes anywhere nearby. And low food is a problem, as you can see. So, this potato thing, we, we need the crops to grow, and we need them to grow a lot faster. They're not utilizing this entire grow zone, uh, which sucks, but, I mean, it's, it's, what, what else can we do? We'll have them harvest the potatoes they have there. Ah, it looks like they put some in the nutrient paste dispenser as well, so those problems could be solved. As long as they keep working and keep doing things, I think we'll be all right. We're just going to speed things up here. So Vortac quickly building on the addition to their little base camp. This is going to take give them a whole new bedroom. And now what I'm going to do is pause it real quick. I'm not sure who owns this bed. Uh, oh, owner Vortac. All right, since he built the room, I'm going to give him the honor of having a new bed. I'm not going to delete that bed yet, just in case they don't get around to building it. But I'm going to make a wooden bed and put it right here. And then he'll have his very own bed. How's that? And let's put a lamp in here as well. I'm going to have to build some more conduits going into this door. Like so. And there. And it was a good thing that I didn't delete that bed because they did not make it into the next day before needing a nap. Uh, their new colony, Hope, is now there. Their mood, you can see it kind of plummeting down in darkness, sharing a bedroom, a nutrient paste. It's not, pl I wouldn't say plummeting. Plummeting implies that we're in danger. We're not in danger. It's just, it could be way, way better. Uh, so with that, I think we are good to call this an episode. I'd say we got a pretty decent amount done. Uh, we're mining uh, some resources. I'm assuming this entire rock is all valuable resources, and that's going to get us a pretty long way. You would be surprised at how much that actually is. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. I'm going to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Before we go, I'm going to deconstruct this bed and set the owner to this one as Vortac. Now, everyone has their own room despite one of them sleeping in a hallway. That is better than nothing. Why is that roofed over? That's not even a... Okay, well, again, before we go... Oh, he's finished it. Okay, cool. <laughs> it roofed over before he finished that. That's weird. Uh, all right. Cool. So I'm going to call this an episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the next episode, we will uh, hopefully have a, a little more hope, a little more... Uh, everyone will be in better spirits, and then we can work on our next project. I would say that's probably going to be uh, maybe accumulating some more power or food, maybe another farm that grows another resource, um, something besides potatoes. 
and trying to get them prepared because eventually, once winter hits, we're going to have a whole new set of problems. So look forward to that. I'll see you guys next time. So that's how wide I was imagining this house. And I dug out all that extra space. I could even go wider with it if I want. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave it uh, one nice, narrow, tall-ass house. It's going to be pretty damn tall.